Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how I created this Valentine's Day date night inspired look using the Tarte Pro palette. I actually collaborated with Tarte in the launch of the palette. They reached out to me and a few other makeup bloggers on Instagram and they flew us down to New York City. We had a photo shoot. We each created a couple different looks using the palette. The Tarte team is so generous, so nice. They took such good care of us. It was so much fun. It was like the best experience of my life. But I felt so disappointed in what I created. I felt like I could have did so much better. Like since then, I improved so much in my skills and I feel like it's only pushed me harder to improve more. So that's a good thing. So I kind of wanted to make this like my Tarte Pro Palette redemption look. So if you guys want to see how I got this look, keep on watching. I'm taking the Lancome Concealer in Light Buff to prime my eyes and I'm just applying it with my fingers. This is my favorite quotation primer quotation to use for my eyes. Then I'm just taking Bone Shadow by Anastasia Beverly Hills and a Morphe blending brush and patting that on my whole lid to set my base. You want to make sure you do this so your other eyeshadows blend nicely. Now I'm dipping into the Tarte Pro Palette with the shade Classic, which is like a vanilla cream shade, and I'm just putting that above my crease with the same Morphe brush. This is almost like my fake transition shade. Now I'm taking the shade Profesh, which is like a taupey light purple, and I'm using the same Morphe blending brush and applying that as my transition shade and in the crease. I'm just using back and forth in circular motions and building up the color. You know how we do. Then I'm taking this pretty lavender shade called No Filter and I'm just applying it over the same area that we just applied Profesh. I didn't go straight in with this shade because it is a little bit deeper than Profesh and it would have been harder to blend out going straight in with No Filter. I'm taking the white shade Vintage and going to highlight my brow bone with a flat eyeshadow brush and this will clean up any other eyeshadows that traveled up too high. I'm taking the pink shade Mod in a Luxie 121 brush and I'm applying that in the crease and packing it on my lid. I'm building this up pretty good but I am going to go back in at the end and intensify it up a little bit more. Then I'm taking the deep purple shade Drama and Adelium Tools 936 brush and I'm packing that on the outer V area. I'm also going to blend some to the outer crease area with that Luxie 121 brush. I'm taking a very small amount of that shade Profesh on an It Cosmetics blending brush and blending out any harsh lines. And then I'm just intensifying up Mod the pink shade on my lid. I'm just crispening up that line with a makeup wipe, yes. And then I'm just smoking out the shade Profesh on my lower lash line with a Crown C138 brush. Then I'm just gonna pop the shade Glam in my tear duct with a Luxie 141 mini round brush. Now I'm taking the Sigma Wicked Gel Liner and an EO6 brush and I'm drawing my wing line outward. And then I connect my wing and fill it in and I'm not making this liner too thick because I am putting the glitter on top of it. And however thick the wing gets basically decides how thick the line across my lid will be. Then I'm taking the glitter side of the Tarte Eye Jewels eyeliner in gold and applying that right up top of my winged liner and I love this eyeliner because it's super easy to apply and if you need to just go back in with your gel liner to clean up any imperfections I'm gonna curl my lashes and then go in with Estee Edits edgiest mascara for my bottom lashes this is perfect for getting in for your lower lashes and for my top lashes, I'm applying Dose Cosmetics Boom Bastic Mascara. Then I'm going in with Coco Lashes in style Goddess and applying them with some tweezers. 
I applied a black eye pencil in my waterline and now the eye portion is complete. I'm prepping my skin with the Tarte Maracuja oil to moisturize. Make sure you let this soak in before you apply any face primers or foundation, concealer, whatnot. Then I'm taking the Benefit Professional Face Primer and applying that to my cheeks, forehead, and chin and nose and patting that in. I'm taking the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Stick in shade Y325. And yes, this shade is a little bit too dark for me at the moment. I'm really pale in the winter and it looks very yellow. But I don't know, I feel like this foundation oxidizes lighter over time on me. Plus when I highlight, it'll even it out more so. And I dampen my Beauty Blender with Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray before blending this into my skin. Now I'm taking everyone's favorite concealer, Tarte Shape Tape in light medium and light and applying that to my under eye area and then I also apply it to my chin and my nose and a little on my forehead. And then I'm just blending that in with a dampened beauty blender. To set my under eye area, I'm going to use the airspun powder on my beauty blender and lightly pat that in. And for the rest of the face, I'll use the same powder, but I'll set it with a It Cosmetics Brilliant Powder Brush. To bronze up my skin, I'm going to be using the Benefit Hula Bronzer and this Morphe Bronzer Brush. I'm going to bronze up my cheekbones and my temples and my jaw and neckline. To contour, I'm going to use the Lorac Pro Contour Kit and Medium Contour and I'm just going to go over the same areas I bronze with, cheeks, temples, and neck. I should put my other earring in back now. For blush, I'm using the Smashbox Blush Rush in the shade Heartbreak and I'm just applying it with this Jouer Blush Brush. To base my powdered highlight, I'm going to use the Sigma Brilliant Shimmer Cream. This is a cream highlight and I'm just patting it on to the high points of my cheeks. And with whatever is left on my fingers, I'll just apply it to my chin, nose, and forehead. And now I'm using the Artist Couture Diamond Glow Powders in Gold Digger and Conceited and I'm making my own little mixture. I love these highlighters so much. Look at how poppin' that is and I'm applying it with this little Jouer brush. And for lips, I'm gonna apply Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in Ashton. Ashton, 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 Ashton. And to finish off this look, I'm just setting my face with Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray, and that concludes this look. I hope you guys liked it. Don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Dun dun dun!